Alright guys, I've decided probably just not going to use the mic, but, so this is sort of an update video, I guess, just sort of plans for the next three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and so, um, we'll be checking that out, figuring out what we're, what I'm sort of going to be doing, so I'm going on a mission trip for my church, this is the one from last year, it's called Urban Plunge, and so this year we're going to Omaha, and we're gonna be doing some service projects and whatnot there. And let me put this back in. I don't think that's where that was originally going. Actually, never mind, I found it. While dropping like three other things. Why? Um, give me a second. And so yeah, we're gonna go to that. And that's going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And so I'm going to schedule a video for Saturday because it's right in the middle. So no video Friday unless I figure out how to do something really early and my mom doesn't usually let me do stuff until like two. Probably no video Friday. Probably a video on Saturday though. And probably, I don't know about Sunday. Sunday, I don't know. But I think I'm gonna schedule a carnivore's regeneration for Saturday. And so that's about it, um, but other than that, let's get into what today's video is really about. So earlier I did say it was going to be an update, but changed my mind. Castaway review. So we're reviewing this figure from Safari Limited. It's pretty nice. Um, so we're gonna get right into it. Starting with the head, actually, let's not start with the head, that's the most detailed. Um, the feet, we're starting with that. We do have some nice scaling patterns. It's sort of like a dinosaur that you would find, like this Tyrannosaurus Rex and this, basically, cassowary, basically a giant chicken. Um, they have the same thing, the scaling pattern on the feet, and sort of some weird pebbling on the upper legs to the thigh. And then up here, this whole thing is just covered with some sparkly feathers. I like that. If maybe I could order a version where the sparkles are bigger, and then I could like put this on a rotating thing and have some light shining on it, and it could be a disco ball. I think that would be pretty cool having a cassowary as a disco ball. Um, it doesn't look like this model includes any obvious wings, which is kind of a problem because. I don't think that there's any bird that doesn't have arms or wings, so might have to fix that, but eh. So we have a nice crest up here, big crest compared to the head size, it's pretty big. Um, that's nice, uh, pretty accurate, the Safari Limited is good at being accurate with stuff. And then we do have a little gobbly gobbly turkey thingy, I don't know what it's called. It does sort of The head does sort of look like colorfully like a turkey, and then it's got a nice beak where it can peck things with. Which it actually reminds me of an emu whenever I look at this head. And then it's got the weird, the little eyes. They're nice, a glossy brown. I, I like the coloring on that. But yeah, this, if you couldn't tell already, this is not the most detailed figure. It's got a nice feathering texture on it though. So yeah, that is not the most insane thing ever. So sorry this video isn't exactly the longest, but yeah, I'm not gonna be here Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I'm getting back Sunday at five, so I might make a video then. But um, yeah, so yeah, I'm just gonna be missing out on some stuff. I think I'm just gonna schedule regeneration, carnivores regeneration. Um, other than that, I don't know, carnivores regeneration has gotten a little bit laggy because of the new update. And so I'm gonna have to figure that out or maybe I'll just, you know, sort of lax on the carnivores after regeneration's over. Cause that's been an ongoing series for a while. I might ease into something else. I don't really remember what video games I have going right now. Steve, I'm definitely gonna continue Steve. Try to get every skin in there. I think that would be a pretty good, pretty good. So yeah, um, be sure to check out Queens998. He does have a pretty some pretty cool videos um, that are well. I guess he does. He did do a Steve, but with the Rudolph skin on, and he did a vlog, so that's pretty neat. And he mentioned me in both of those videos. I'm sort of like I'm his inspiration because I made Pickles vlog, which made him want to make more vlogs, and then the Steve thing, and so he did the Steve thing. So I think that's pretty cool. Shout out to Queens998. Subscribe to him, all 30 of you if you're out there, so, I don't, I don't know what else, 
There's not, there's not really much else other than I have a brachiopod. That's, that's about it. It's kind of random. But, so, enjoy the weekend, guys. And I, I honestly don't know what to say. Oh, I saw Ant-Man and the Wasp. So, no spoilers, no spoilers. But, just saying, it's a good movie. One thing, though, you have to watch Infinity War first. Have to. Because there are spoilers for Infinity War in Ant-Man and the Wasp. So if you watch Ant-Man and the Wasp without Infinity War, the, the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe is just spoiled. The whole thing. Like, all the storyline is laid out for you, Ant-Man and the Wasp. So, don't watch it if you haven't seen Infinity War. Or really, Ant-Man for that matter. Probably should watch Ant-Man first. Too. So, don't really know what else to do. This is kind of awkward, just sort of sitting and staring. Yeah, bye. So. Like, subscribe, Fantasy Mashup out now to the outro. Subscribe and stay tuned for more incredible videos by me, the humble Fantasy Mashup. Bye.